हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल शिवम एजुकेशन मैं गागणी सर आपका स्वागत करता हूँ वी हैव स्टार्टेड चैप्टर एम आईस ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड कंटेनिंग नाइट्रोजन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड थ्री लेक्चर इन दिस थ्री लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एम आई एंड नॉमेन फ्लेक्चर ऑफ एम आई नाउ इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सेपरेशन ऑफ मिक्सचर ऑफ प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्सरी एम आई बाई यूजिंग रिएजेंट टेस्ट ट्यूब में या बीकर में प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी और टर्सरी एम का मिक्सचर दिया गया है हमें उसे सेपरेट करना है प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी और टर्सरी तो उसका सेपरेशन करने के लिए नाउ अट इज हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट इज यूज सो नाउ हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट सो हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट इज नथिंग बट अ बेंजिन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट केमिकली नॉन एज ए बेंजिन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड तो लिख लेते हैं उसका नाम बेंजिन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड नाउ बाय यूजिंग दिस बेंजिन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड और इन शॉर्ट इट इज रिटर्न एज ए बी एस सी ऑल्सो सो बाय यूजिंग बेंजिन सल्फोनाइल क्लोराइड वी हैव टू सेपरेट द मिक्सचर ऑफ प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्सरी एम आई सो एज्यूम दैट हियर वी हैव गिवन अ वन कंटेनर इन दिस कंटेनर वी हैव अ मिक्सचर ऑफ दिस ऑल थ्री प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी एंड टर्सरी एम आई नाउ to separate this mixture individually we have added a hinsberg reagent into it so i would write that i have written a bsc we have added benzene sulfonyl chloride reagent is added now when we add this benzene sulfonyl chloride then it is observed that primary and secondary amine will react while tertiary amine having a no reactions so we can say that tertiary amine whatever there there is a no reactions while it is observed that primary and secondary amine whatever we have this primary and secondary amine will react so now just one by one we will write how this reaction occurs so you know that the formula of primary amine is rnh2 primary amine ka formula rnh2 secondary amine formula you are knowing well it is r2nh and tertiary amine having a formula r3n so tertiary amine having a no hydrogen and it has a no hydrogen so it can't react with a benzene sulfonyl chloride while whatever secondary amine it has a one hydrogen atom and primary amine having a two hydrogen atom on nitrogens so now when we add this benzene sulfonyl chloride it reaction occur and it is observed that primary amine after reaction it gives a secondary sulfonamide yahan se ek hydrogen aur yahan se ek chlorine react karenge remove in the form of hcl and as a result we will get this structure rnh then sulfur directly joined with a nitrogen and whatever structure obtained to us it is known as a secondary sulfonamide it is considered as a secondary sulfonamide well secondary amine will also react with benzene sulfonyl chloride same way but the product will be tertiary sulfonamide this hydrogen of benzene sulfonyl chloride will react with this hydrogen and remove in the form of hcl when it remove we are getting this structure r2 and here s double bond o and here benzene ring so this structure is known as a tertiary sulfonamide this structure is considering as a tertiary sulfonamide while here with this hinsberg reagent suppose whatever added by us so it is a no reaction we can write this things it has a no reaction okay now in this mixtures we will add a dilute hcl in this mixture when we add dilute hcl whatever mixture we have in this we are adding a dilute hcl so it is observed that when we add dilute hcl this secondary and tertiary sulfonamide will react insoluble into dilute hcl so we can say that here secondary and tertiary sulfonamide secondary and tertiary sulfonamide remain insoluble and here it gives a soluble mass so when we add this in this mixtures dilute hcl is added by us when we add dilute hcl we have observed that tertiary amine gives a soluble this tertiary amine solution will be obtained while well, this remain as a insoluble solid mass this insoluble solid mass is considered as a residue 
and this residue can be separated by a filtration. So through filtration process, we can separate mixture of primary and secondary mine with a tertiary mine. Now whatever the soluble salt obtained to us on a neutralization, whatever mass obtained, we have to neutralize by NaOH. When neutralized by NaOH, this mixture gives us a tertiary amine. So now from mixture we have obtained a tertiary amine. Thus we have to write this dilute HCl is added. Okay. Now further. Whatever secondary and tertiary sulfonamide containing insoluble mass is there, in this we are adding a dilute uh, solution, so potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide we can add. When we add this in this solutions, potassium hydroxide solutions, alkaline solutions when we add. Then it is observed that this alkaline solution will react, secondary sulfonamide having a hydrogen on it, this hydrogen can react with a OH. So HNOH react in the and remove in the form of H2O and as a result we will get this type of salt and whatever salt obtained this salt will be soluble. So it is observed that here soluble salt will be obtained while here this tertiary sulfur amide having a no hydrogen atoms. It has a no hydrogen atom so when we add this alkaline solution into it we can write that there is a no reaction. So once again, there is a no reaction, so tertiary sulfonamide remain as an insoluble mass. And here, this soluble salt will be filtered and filtrate give us a soluble salt and re, uh, solid mass residue will be collected. So by a simple filtration, when we add these things, then once again we are getting a two part, one will be a soluble part and second will be insoluble residue. So whatever insoluble residue obtained to us, whatever insoluble residue will be obtained to us, this will be neutralized by NaOH. When we neutralize, now medium is basic, so when we neutralize we get this secondary amine solution back. So whatever soluble salt obtained, it is neutralized by these things and neutralization of this thing mixture giving us a secondary amine back. We are getting once again secondary amine. Similarly, whatever soluble salt obtained to us, this soluble salt also after filtration it is also neutralized and neutralization of mixtures giving us primary amine back. So in this way we can separate the mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amine. So now, how, once again, uh, we will repeat how this entire process occurs. In a one container, we are given a mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary one. Now, we want to separate these things. For the separation of this mixture, we can use this reagent. It is known as a benzene sulfonyl chloride. So, we have benzene sulfonyl chloride in mixture. When we add a mixture of benzene sulfonyl chloride, add karte hai, the tertiary amine having a no reaction with this benzene sulfonyl chloride, while primary and secondary amine will react, primary amine gives a secondary sulfonamide, secondary amine gives a tertiary sulfonamide. So, this mixture from the dilute HCl data, dilute HCl may tertiary amine wala part soluble hai, part insoluble hai. So, insoluble residue through filtration collect kar liya, whatever jo filtration prakt hua hume, usme hume NaO chada ke neutralize kiya. जब हम इस मिक्सचर को न्यूट्रलाइज कर लेते हैं जो सोल्यूबल मास है उसको न्यूट्रलाइज किया देन वी आर गेटिंग ए टर्शरी एमाइन फ्रॉम दिस मिक्सचर आफ्टर दिस वी हैव अ सॉलिड रेसिड्यू ऑफ सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी एमाइन तो फिर से हमने उसमें अल्कलाइन सॉल्यूशन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड का ऐड कर सकते हैं या पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड का ऐड कर सकते हैं हमने डाला सेकेंडरी सल्फोनेमाइड रिएक्शन करता है वो हमें सोल्यूबल सॉल्ट देगा on tertiary amine, there is a no reaction, so it gives a insoluble salt. So once again, the soluble and insoluble residue we can collect. Now, insoluble residue hai, usko hum neutralize karte hai. So neutralization of this insoluble residue, hume dega secondary amine, or jo ye soluble salt hume praapt hua, usko hum neutralization karte hai. Then, on neutralization it gives a primary amine. So by using this, by using this benzene sulfonyl chloride, 
one can separate the mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary sulfonamide. Let in nowadays the derivative of benzene sulfonate chloride is also used frequently and uska structure hoga paratoluene sulfonyl chloride. So nowadays for the separation of mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary sulfonamide this mixture is also used paratoluene sulfonyl chloride. So this paratoluene sulfonyl chloride is used for the separation of mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amide. So is there as a हमें लैब में दिए गए प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी टर्सरी में इनके मिक्सचर को आइडेंटिफाई करके उसको सेपरेट कर सकते हैं और उसके लिए हम बेंजीन सल्फोनाइड क्लोराइड को यूज करते हैं जो बेंजीन सल्फोनाइड क्लोराइड यूज करते हैं वो हिंसबर्ग नाम के साइंटिस्ट ने फाइंड आउट किया था सो उसको बोलते हैं हिंसबर्ग रिएजेंट सो स्टूडेंट्स आपको मेरा लेक्चर कैसा लगा अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करें शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब करें ऑल द बेस्ट मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में